Hello everyone, my name is Osen Rahmani and I'm going to talk about the method for 3D action recognition from novel viewpoints. Video based human action recognition <laughs> Video based human action recognition is challenging because uh, significant interaction variations exist due to changes in viewpoint, scale, background, uh, visual appearance, and etc. Most challenges uh, have been simplified by the use of uh, real-time depth cameras such as Kinect cameras that capture the illumination and texture invariant human body shapes uh, and uh, simplify human segmentation. However, variations due to viewpoint remain a major challenge and is explicitly addressed in this work. Most existing action recognition methods achieve impressive results when videos are acquired from a common viewpoint. However, their performance degrades sharply under viewpoint changes. It is because the same human action appears quite different when observed from different viewpoints as shown in the previous slide. To cope with this problem, uh, several view invariant approaches have been proposed which mainly uh, operate on RGB videos or skeleton data. Joint extraction methods are not accurate and sometimes fail, uh, especially when the subject is not in an upright or frontal view position. Moreover, view invariant information can be more reliably extracted from dev videos. For instance, Hobbes, or work published in, I mean, 2016, uh, achieves higher accuracy by extracting the view invariant local spatial temporal uh, features from that videos. <coughs> to overcome these drawbacks, we propose a dev video based cross view action recognition, which consists of two main steps. The first step is learning a general view invariant human pose model from synthetic depth image. In this step, a single deep CNN model. Uh, for all poses and views is learned without using the action labels. And the second step is modeling the temporal action variation. And in this step, a group of sparse Fourier temporal pyramid is proposed, which is robust to uh, uh, noisy depth image and temporal misalignment. However, learning such a deep CNN model requires a large corpus of training data containing a large uh, number of human poses observed from many viewpoints. Such data is not publicly available and is very expensive to acquire and label. Therefore, our solution is to generate the training data synthetically but in the most realistically possible way. This figure shows an overview of the proposed pipeline for generating such training data. We will describe these steps in the following slide. The first step is building a pose dictionary. The set of all possible human poses is extremely large. Therefore, we build a dictionary that contains the most representative ones. We use the CMU mocap dataset, which contains uh, over uh, 200,000 uh, poses of uh, human subject in a variety of poses. But many poses look similar. We apply k-mean clustering, clustering to 50,000 randomly selected mocap sequences, mocap poses, and uh, select 339 representative ones to form a pose dictionary. Note that we don't use action labels uh, provided with the CMU mocap dataset. 3D human models. There are different ways to generate 3D human models, the full 3D human model. For example, Bogo et al. developed the first data sets containing uh, the full uh, 3D human body scan of 10 subjects in a few number of poses. Another way is to use open source make human software, which can synthesize the realistic uh, 3D human models in a predefined poses, T poses, and also uh, provide the uh, joint uh, skeleton data which can be later used for generating human model in different poses. We use this approach in this work. The next step is fitting human model and human model to a pose. Several approaches have been proposed to fit a hum 3D human model to a pose, 
for example, Escape, Mosh. Uh, however, we use the open source Blender package given a 3D human model and a mocap skeleton data. Uh, Blender normalizes the mocap skeleton data with respect uh, to the skeleton data of the human model and then fit the model to the normalized mocap data. The next step is rendering from multiple viewpoints. We deploy a total of 180 synthetic cameras shown on the right. For each camera, we perform back face calling and then perform hidden point removal on the remaining points. The third column shows the full human model from three different views, and the first column shows the 3D point load after removing the hidden points. And finally, to generate depth image, we fit a surface to each 3D point cloud using grid fit, which uh, approximates the 3D point cloud as closely as possible. The fifth column shows three surfaces constructed using grid fit for three views of human poses. The extrapolated points, for example, these points, are set to zero because uh, they don't belong to the human body and uh, the point load that was uh, actually uh, generated using surface fitting. Then finally the z values are normalized in the range of uh, 0 to 255 to get the final depth image as shown in the last color. Okay, our proposed model is a deep CNN whose architecture is similar to AlexNet, uh, except that we replace the last fully connected layer with a 339 neuron layer. For each pose in the dictionary, the corresponding synthetic depth image from all 180 synthetic cameras are generated using our proposed pipeline and assigned the same class label. Thus, our uh, data set consists of 339 human pose classes. To use this model, for extracting view invariant features from real dev videos for each dev video frame the segmented human body image is passed through our learn model and the outputs of the fc7 layer are used as the view invariant frame descriptor the next step is temporal modeling many methods model the temporal variations of actions using optical flow however optical flow is not reliable in the presence of noise and lack of texture, which is especially the case for deaf videos. Moreover, deaf image captured by Kinect camera have high level of noise, and the correct uh, region, of, uh, region of interest containing only the human body extracted by the Kinect cameras is not always accurate and may contain some part of background as shown in the second figure, for example, chair, part of chair is detected as a part of human body. Therefore, we need a representation that is robust to noisy depth image, inaccurate segmentation, and temporal misalignment. This figure, this figure shows an overview of the proposed temporal modeling. Given a depth video, for each frame, we extract the view invariant frame descriptors. Then we apply the short Fourier transfer to each neuron output. For example, this is the output of the first neuron for all frames. And keep the first few number of low frequency coefficients. Next, we divide, next we divide uh, each neuron output into two segments and apply the SFT again to get, uh, uh, for each individual uh, segment. We repeat this process several times in our experiment three times to get the final frame descriptor using concatenation of all this uh, low level frequency. Finally, we discovered the discriminative action of specific uh, neuron sets by solving an L1, L2 norm, uh, uh, regularize this score problem. Results on multi-view datasets, Northwestern UCLA multi-view datasets contains uh, of 10 action from three different views captured by three uh, different Kinect cameras. Comparative results shown in this table. Uh, the recognition accuracy of the proposed method in the first setting 
when we just use uh, HPM without using temporal modeling, significantly outperform our baseline define on all existing methods, including the HOPS one. Combining our temporal modeling algorithm by uh, with the HPM significantly improved the recognition accuracy by 14% and achieved 92% accuracy. The second data set is UWA 3D multi-view activity data set, uh, which consists of 30 actions captured by a Kinect camera for four different views. Our HPM, again, significantly outperformed the state of the art, excluding the NQTM band, but combining with uh, temporal modeling improved average accuracy to 76.9% accuracy, the mean accuracy. It is important to note uh, that the proposed view invariant pose model was learned from synthetic depth image generated from a small number of human poses, but a search for many and a search for many human poses, such as holding chairs, holding bags, most of these actions results no uh, return no results uh, in the pose dictionary or mocap data. However, our method still uh, achieves good performance for these actions. We also evaluated our method on three single view benchmark data sets, MSR daily activity, MSR action pairs, and MSR gesture 3D, and again, and, uh, achieve the state of the art. Conclusion, the strongest part of this uh, method is that we learn a single model for all poses and views, and we don't need any fine tuning or retraining for the model, we can apply this model on any new data sets. Great, thank, thank you. you. Uh,